weirdest bizarre animal stories. Number 12, the amazing two-legged pig. In 2010, a 10-month-old disabled pig became a moderate celebrity for one Chinese village. Her name is Strong-Willed Pig, the runt of a pig litter. This little girl piglet was born with only two front legs, but has since learned how to walk upside down. It's the ultimate overcoming adversity story for this little girl piggy who proved to the world any disability or handicap can be overcome with perseverance and a strong will to survive. Number 11, Doggy Diva. Here's a cute one. This miniature pincher's name is Lulu, and that photo you're looking at isn't photoshopped, nor is it a trick this pup performs for treats. Nope, she's just an unusual dog who likes to stroll around town on her two hind legs with her matching teddy bear purse for maximum style. Lulu can be found many mornings in her native Chinese city, walking upright and wandering from shop to shop. The retired teacher who owns this adorable, though slightly eccentric dog, reportedly replied to shocked reporters, we loved her instantly. Number 10, Track Star Octopus. Octopuses have no bones to support their bodies. So how do these little slimy aquatic creatures avoid getting eaten? Swimming away can actually cause their hearts to briefly stop as all eight tentacles furiously pump in frenzied, frightened, rushed movements. Their coloring is meant for camouflage to help avoid predators. And now, some clever eight-legged water-based creatures have figured out a new method for scurrying away from trouble. A few octopuses have been captured on film using two of their tentacles to use as legs and literally run away. These bizarre creatures of the sea, bipedal style, race backwards in order to flee and live to run another day. Number nine, emergency fish brain surgery. His name was George. He was a 10-year-old prized beloved pet goldfish who sadly developed a tumor in his head. Lodged inside his brain, the infection grew. The emergency surgery lasted 45 panicked minutes. George was sedated and given painkillers as the veterinarian went to work. Unbelievably, the surgery was a roaring success, and George not only made a speedy, full recovery, his animal doctor was confident that this little guy would now live another 20 years, which makes for one heartwarming story for one lucky fish. Number eight, snakes in a toilet. In the year of 2013, one patron to a local Starbucks went to the restroom and got a lot more than he bargained for. In a San Antonio Starbucks, one customer found themselves sitting on a toilet only to hear strange sounds coming from beneath. Upon further inspection, the coffee-chugging patron discovered a snake slithering around the insides of the porcelain rim. Several surprised employees went to investigate only to watch the snake slide down the drainage and disappear from sight. Experts theorize that the slithering surprise was a simple non-poisonous rat snake. However, you never know. Number seven, crocodile under the bed. Remember being a kid and begging your parents to check under the bed for monsters? Well, one man in Zimbabwe may have wanted to continue this tradition. For in 2013, a former cricket captain spent a night at a lodge for some well-needed rest. A full-sized adult crocodile had somehow slipped into his room before he arrived and made his own sleeping arrangements. The croc slept there the entire night and into the morning hours of the next day before finally crawling out and scaring the life out of one terrified housekeeper. No crocodiles or lodge guests were harmed as the eight foot, 330 pound reptile was released back into the wild. Number six, angry beaver. In 2014, one super angry beaver terrorized a small Canadian town. People in New Brunswick had their hands full with the little angry critter who reportedly wandered around town snapping and attacking anyone who dared to get close or even attempt to take a snapshot of it. Pedestrians found themselves chased down the street by the aggressive mouth. The rodent stopped traffic for several hours as concerned, confused, slightly frightened police officers attempted to contain the wildly aggressive beast. Beavers are not known for attacking people. Perhaps the large rodent was seeking revenge. Could this be a premonition of animals fighting back and attempting to take back their land? Only time will tell. Number five, popcorn flavored bear cats. This creature found in Southeast Asia is called a binturong, though their nickname is bear cats, despite them being neither bear nor cat. Pretty cute mammal, right? Well, these little Asian furry fellas are as cute as they are bizarre. Turns out their pee smells like movie theater buttered popcorn. How weird is that? According to a study published in April of 2016, their strange scent of wee-wee is actually caused by a chemical compound in their urine called 2-AP, which just so happens to be the same substance found in freshly made popcorn, which gives it that yummy, intoxicating smell. When a popcorn kernel heats, the proteins and sugars cause a chemical reaction, creating the strange 2-AP compound, proving once again that nature, you so weird. Number four, disco spider. 
See this image here? Looks like a snake's head, doesn't it? Well, it's actually a spider. This unique, crazy-looking arachnid from the forests of Singapore may be a new species of spider. Those strange-looking blobs pulsate and turn colors in a swirling, maddening, disco ball-looking effect on its abdomen. However, no one in the scientific community has any idea how the little creepy crawler is doing it or why. There are several theories. It could be using these bizarre color combination patterns to confuse aggressive, hungry predators. It could be a useful way of attracting potential mates. Perhaps this pulsating spider has a unique digestive system. So far, no one has yet to solve the puzzle of the disco spider, but it sure makes for some strange looking psychedelic pictures and videos. Number three, rise of the two-headed sharks. This crazy looking two-headed blue shark was found in the Indian Ocean back in 2008. And he's not the first or the last of his bizarre spliced kind. In the Mediterranean Sea, a two-headed embryo of an Atlantic saw-tailed cat shark was discovered. There was a mutant two-headed water beast found in the Caribbean, along the shores of California, around the coastline of Australia, and another two-headed shark fetus has popped up in the Gulf of Mexico off the Florida Keys. Scientists have a long list of ideas and theories, but no defiant explanation for these strange multi-headed creatures. Many point to pollution or radiation as the culprits. Others say viruses or genetic tampering. Some contend they are simply natural flukes of nature. The strongest circulating theory is overfishing and genetic disorders. But the real question should be, how do two-headed sharks taste and could this be a new form of sushi? Number two, zombie parasites. Okay, this one is an insect, not really an animal, but hey, close enough, right? Beware, there's a parasitic fungus which has powers of mind control and it's coming to get you. Well, so far this strange vampiric parasite species only seems to be attacking forest ants to fulfill its ominous bidding, for now anyway. This strange, teeny tiny creature will embed itself onto an unsuspecting ant and then release a fungus, which will fill an ant's head with creepy fungal cells, which will effectively change the ant's muscles and bend the insect to its whims. The poor, mind-controlled zombie ant will then go where the fungal parasite wants. Finding an ideal ecosystem, the zombified insect will bite down on a leaf and slowly waste away. It is then that this strange inner demonic entity will make its finishing move. The ant will corrode away as a weird fungus stalk will burst out of the ant's head, releasing its hideous spores into the atmosphere. Those spores will spread out, carried by the wind to their next unsuspecting victim. Number one, monkeys using tools. Some worry that monkeys may be evolving and the battle of the planet of the apes is right around the corner. The reason? Several recently published stories of chimps creating and using tools as well as weapons. Several chimpanzees observed in the African savanna have been spotted fashioning sticks into spears and using these makeshift weapons to hunt smaller mammals. Other studies show these advanced monkeys using their crude spears to hunt fish and hunt bugs which live inside trees. Several apes in the Amazon have been seen creating hammer-like rocks to break open cashew nuts. These small hungry monkeys will place the hard shell on a large stone and pound the nut out with a small roundish stone. Some of these chimps will even stash their hammer rocks inside trees to return later with fresh cashews. Could these crude tools be an early sign of chimps entering into a new stage of evolution? Only time and more Planet of the Apes sequels will tell.